Hi everybody, I'm back with another video. I hope you guys are excited, just as excited as I am. So I'm going to be doing a huge nail supplies haul and I have so much stuff. It's going to be um, this whole box, which is from Nail Supply Glamour. It's a gigantic box. And then right here I have another box. This is full with stuff from my local nail supply store. And I have one small little package from AliExpress, which I'm also gonna share with you guys. So I'm so excited and I hope you guys like this. I know you guys love the hauls and of course I'm going to be showing you guys everything. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below. But I am so, so excited and I think I'm going to actually go grab my computer and have the prices pulled up right here for you guys for the Nail Supply Glamour stuff. So you guys already know how much everything costs. I'm going to start with everything that I got from my Nail Supply store. I have a few things from AliExpress and then one thing that I got from Amazon. So the first thing that I have is this Mia Secret Clear Acrylic Powder. This is the big one. It is the 8 ounce. Um, it's so big. I already have one of these and I'm like halfway. I go through this super quick. This is like one of the best clear acrylic powders I've ever tried. And I do also have um, Young Nails Clear Powder, which is also super bomb. But this one is so affordable and it's just my favorite one because it's so big and it's like it's you're it's gonna last you a really long time and it just lays really smooth it's actually super super clear which i love um and it's just one of my favorites so this one i'm actually gonna go ahead and pull up the price and tell you guys how much i got it for so it was 28 dollars. i always go and try to look for the best price when i'm trying to find mia secret products just because on amazon most of the time they're sold out i believe nail supply glamour does have this as well but i ordered this after i ordered my nail supply glamour package so once i realized i needed more of this it was a little bit too late to order and i think nail supply glamour runs out really quick um when they restock their mia secret products i think they sell out super fast so yeah this is how much it costs it was 28 dollars, but again you get a lot of product it's really big um in comparison i'll show you guys what the small one looks like so this is like a normal one this is the two ounce and then this is the four ounce so it's actually really really big i feel like it's a really good size so it's worth the money and i i suggest you get this if you're looking for a good clear so yeah my next thing that I got is this IBD gel top coat. I've been wanting to try this so bad and this was actually from my local nail supply store. So if you're in San Jose or if you're like in the area, um, I got this from Alum Rock Beauty Supply, I think is what it's called. And it was only $6, which was crazy because I've always wanted to try it. So I was like, I might as well just grab one while I'm here. This is what it looks like. I haven't used it. I just took it out of the box. Yeah, I've heard really good things about this. If you watch Natalie Carmona on YouTube, I know that she would use this a lot. So I'm super excited and I hope it's as good as people say. That was $6. I know that for sure. And that was from my local nail supply. Next thing I got was this bottle for acetone. I always need this. I go through acetone like crazy, which is what you're going to see right here. Um, this is just an empty bottle that you can put your acetone in. Super convenient. It has the little, this thing. I also keep my monomer in one of these, my liquid monomer. If you don't already keep your monomer in one of these, trust me, put it in one of these. It's going to be a lifesaver because the monomer spills all over the place. And this little tip helps you put it into your dappen dish really easily. So yeah, I got this. I feel, I think this was like a dollar fifty, or maybe even a dollar. I don't even, I don't really remember. But this was also from my local nail supply store. And next thing is a lot of these buffers. So I go through buffers like crazy. I use a new one per client. So every time I have a client, I'll use a new buffer on them. I don't reuse buffers on people. Um, every single one of my clients, a new buffer and nail file every time they have an appointment with me so yeah i have a lot of these i think these were um six for a dollar actually which is a super good price like six for a dollar so i got a ton of them i think i got five dollars worth next thing i got some of these little practice fingers and i've never used these but i do see these on some people's tutorials like on tiktok and stuff so i wanted to try some out and these were only 50 cents i think yeah, I think these were only 50 cents. So I got some of these and these were also for my local nail supply. I, I know for a fact that they also sell these at Nail Supply Glamour too. Yeah, I know that for sure. I think I saw them on the website, but I love these and 
I think they're cute, but I just want to practice with them. Even though it's really different to practice on real people, if you're a beginner, I highly suggest you practice on people, anybody you can, just so you can get used to working on a human finger. But yeah, I wanted to practice designs with those. Next thing I got was these like pedicure disposable pumice bars. They're extra coarse. I do my own pedicures at home. I don't do pedicures on clients, but I wanted to get these for myself and they were only $8 for the whole entire pack and it's a big pack. So it comes with a lot, like you can see here. Um, so if you like doing your own pedicures at home, I feel like these would work really good. They look like they scrub really well. So I really wanted to get them and just try them out. And then the next thing I got was this gigantic gallon, one pure, one exact gallon of pure acetone. So it is... 100% pure acetone and if you do nails you already know this is super important what i use this for the most is for like gel polish um marble things like that so you can have acetone to like marble your colors i also use this a lot um if i need to soak nails off you're going to be using a lot of this also if you um have what is it called oh when i do my top my gel top coat sometimes when there's rhinestones it's hard to get in the small crevices so i'll paint over their skin with the gel top coat and i'll clean it up with acetone and a little brush before i dry it before i tell them to put their hands in the lamp just so that i get a, an exact even coat of gel top coat on every single little inch of the nail um i don't mind getting it on their skin because i clean it off before i put it into the I tell them to put it into the lab right here and I'm gonna open it up for you guys so I got a bunch of little things I'm gonna show you guys all of them so these are so cute this this is what they gave me is like a little free gift it's like a little sticker like stickers so I got some super cute stuff these are little YSLs little Chanel's little uh lv and some little hearts and some other little hearts if you want the link to these feel free to let me know and i'll link them for you sorry if it's not focusing i hope you can really see what it looks like they're little chanel's on camera they look kind of blurry but they're super sparkly like extremely sparkly if you guys want the link for these let me know and i can go into my aliexpress orders and link them for you guys and i got them all from the same seller the one thing that I do want to note, though, is that these took a really long time to come. Like, extremely long time. I think they took almost two months to arrive. And most of my stuff arrives every week to one month. But this is a little Louis, Louis Vuitton, the LVs. So pretty. Super sparkly. And then I also got some YSL ones. And I think these come in 20 pieces per pack. They might be 20 pieces or 10 pieces. I'm not sure. So cute. And I'll take these out because I don't know. I don't remember ordering these. It only comes with two, which really isn't that beneficial because I'm not going to be able to use it on anybody. Probably only like myself, but... These are little hearts with like a little crown. They're so pretty and they really sparkle. Like they look like a real like diamond or something. Let me try to zoom in for you guys. There we go. They look like a real diamond. They're so pretty. And these are from AliExpress. I can't believe it. So that's those. And yeah, this was a little free gift. So the next thing that I got from, I think this was from also AliExpress. I took them out of the package just because I didn't know what they were. But I just wanted to show you guys in this video. So if you're into um, kawaii nail art type of stuff, you will really like these. So these are just like different little figures and like random little things. They're so random and like a lot of, of course, like your normal client or your everyday client won't want to get these. But I just think they're so freaking cute. Like, look at these. This is like a little cake. They're really big to put on nails. But I know there's a few nail techs that I follow that really like Hawaii nail art and stuff like that. And they'll like use these. So, just in case any of you guys might like it. This is like a gumdrop. So cute. 
there's some things that are kind of small like this little mushroom these are so cute i'll definitely use these on my nails i kind of explained it in my other aliexpress nail art haul but if you have like this kawaii type of stuff and you put it on your nails um it's not really like an everyday type of nail look but it makes for some really cute nail art pictures for your instagram if you were to use these type of things for like a cute nail art picture it's really cute on your feed this is adorable love this yeah that's so cute so yeah these are just random little things a little lemon oops and just like a little oreo <laughs> that's so cute let's look at the pink one they all have the same type of stuff it looks like just different colors this is like a little pink cake this is like a little slice of cake strawberry cake so cute this is big i'm not sure what this is supposed to be these are cute this is like a huge mickey head <laughs> That's really big but it's cute and then this thing i don't know what this is but it's like a little square a little cube these are bigger things too this is so freaking adorable this is like a little giraffe this is a little pink oreo this is like a little i think those like pretzel sticks that have like chocolate on them this is so freaking cute. And these ones are like little gummies. I'll show you guys what they look like. I'm sorry if like you're bored of this type of stuff. But I like showing you guys. So this is like. These little gummies they look like candy. They look literally like exactly like candy. And I've seen nail techs use these on nails. So I know for sure I'll use these on myself. So cute. I would be so happy but so shocked if a client ever asked me for stuff like this. And then it came with these little Christmas ones too, which I didn't know it came with Christmas ones. But these are pretty big. The Christmas ones are like the biggest ones of all. Yeah, these are too, a little bit too big to put on nails. I'm so upset. I wish they made these smaller. That would be so freaking cute and they would fit on nails perfectly. But they're pretty cute. Look so this one is so cute i love the christmas vibes so yeah those are so freaking adorable i'm gonna just show you guys all of them right here all mixed little kawaii nail art that was actually all for the nail art stuff um from aliexpress and then the other things that I got, like the Amazon and my local nail supply, that's everything that I got from there. I didn't get too many things, but I wanted to include it in this video. So originally, this was just going to be a nail supply glamour haul. But then I was like, might as well add everything that I also bought throughout the week inside of this video too. Just so you guys can get an idea of like what it is to be a nail tech and what things you usually need to restock on. Just in case you're curious. So now we're going to go into this big box. I'm so excited for this huge box. I have been waiting for this. I have never ordered from here before, so this is my first time ever ordering from Nail Supply Glamour. And let's open the box up together. This comes with this little paper that tells you what you ordered. And all the fun stuff is in here, so I'm so excited. I'm going to put it to the side and take things out one by one. And of course, I have the prices right here next to me, so I can try to look for them and tell you guys how much they were. Let's do the first thing. So I got this little thing. This is like a little tape, I think. I think this is like a little tape. But basically, you like open this and it's sticky and you put it around your thumbs and your fingers. So I got this and you wrap it around your fingers so that when you're filing, it files this little tape instead of filing on your skin. So I'm super excited to use this. It's really soft and squishy. And I'm going to use this on my next client. And this was... Um... This was only $1.99. So I'm looking at the price right now. $1.99 for this little bandage. Next thing I got are these 
white sanding bands. If you saw my nail room tour, then you know that I ex kind of explained briefly that I prefer these white sanding bands over the brown ones. I don't know why these are just better. These feel more gentle. For some reason, when I use the brown ones, I don't know. I just like these more. And these were actually only, these were $5.99 for the whole pack. So it comes with 100 and it was only $5.99. So yeah, I got these. Next, let's see what's in here. This came in a little bag. Oh, it's taped up. Okay, so I ordered this brush cleaner. I have never in my life used brush cleaner before, but I wanted to try this out just because I saw that it had really good reviews and I don't know, I've never used anything like this. I usually only use acetone or I'll just soak my um, brush in some monomer for a really long time. But I noticed that even when I was soaking it in the, in the monomer for a long time after I was done with my acrylic application that I was still getting some acrylic stuck in the brush. So I think that's probably due to the fact that I work with wetter beads than, than dryer. I'm starting to change that now as I'm improving on my application, but... Yeah, I really wanted to try this out and this brush cleaner was only $4.99. So $4.99 for this little bottle. I'm going to try it out and hopefully it works pretty good. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried it and if it works for you or not. I'm really scared to use it. I don't want to mess up a brush, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. Next is this. I think I know what this is. Okay, so this is my diamond gel, which is a top coat, no wipe top coat. And I'm so freaking excited to use this. I wanna open it and just see what it looks like. Okay, I can already tell that I'm gonna like the consist consistency. I don't like watery top coats. I like them between medium and thick. So this one's gonna be amazing. I already know I'm gonna love it. And I think this was only $10. I think it was $9.99. Yeah, $9.99, so love this, and I'm so excited to try it. Next thing I got, I'm just going to take these few things out that they just have in the box. So the next things I got are this Glam and Glitz um, glitter acrylic. So I know for a fact that their colored acrylics aren't the best. They tend to marble really, really bad, so I don't buy those at all. But I saw this really pretty glitter, so I was like, I want to try it. And I don't think it was expensive at all. It was only $6.99. And look how freaking stunning that is. I hope you guys can really see that. I hope it's capturing how pretty this is. So this looks so pretty, and I'm so excited to try it out. It's so glittery. It has a lot of mixed glitter in here. So I really needed more glitter acrylics. And yeah, so I love this. I'm really happy with it. And the next ones that they just have thrown in here are the Nail Supply Glamour Acrylic Dip Powder. I've never tried any of the Nail Supply Glamour stuff. I think I, I think I said it already, but this is my first time ever ordering from here. And they're based in Texas, so I really wanted to try these out. I know that this one is like an olive green color, which I don't have any olive green acrylic, so I really needed one just in case. I like to have every color possible just so... I'm prepared if a client asks for it. This one, it looks like it might be like a neon color. And then this one's like a really pretty like um, pastel teal maybe or something like that. These are the colors in case you guys want to check them out for yourselves. And I think all of these are only $7.99. Yeah. So every single one of these that I get, all the colored acrylics that I got from here, they were all $7.99 per little one. And I think these are actually really good. I've heard like really good things about their acrylic powders. So I'm so excited to try them and I can't wait. Oh, actually the acrylic and dip powders, which are these. Sorry guys, I made a mistake. So I'm looking at my computer right now. I ordered a lot of different acrylics. So I also have like these boxes right here. These have more inside. I ordered two different types of acrylic powders from them. So I guess these ones are different. These ones are acrylic and dip powder combined. And the other ones I bought are just acrylic powders. And the other ones I bought were $7.99. These ones are only $5.99. So these are even cheaper, which is pretty good price if you want to get some good acrylics. I heard that their colored acrylics are really, really good. So you should check these out. And I think I showed you guys the colors already, but I'll show you again. So these are this is what they look like. 
and yeah these are acrylic and dip so i don't do dip powder i just do acrylic if i did do dip or if you do do dip maybe you should check these out i'm not sure so next we're gonna do this box so this has acrylic powder on it oh these are so pretty these are already so big okay i could see why these are more expensive look at the size difference so these are $7.99. This is one ounce. Oh, and this is half an ounce. So this is why this one costs $7.99 and this is $5.99. This is the, the size difference. So I ordered from different types of collections. So I guess uh, Nail Supply Glamour has different collections. So I ordered from the blues collection, the browns, the greens collection, pinks, purples, red. I pretty much ordered from like every collection that they have. I really wanted to try their colors and I needed a lot of new colors anyways because I'm taking clients again. So... These ones already look so pretty. This looks like it's going to be a stunning fall color because you know how the acrylics like darken when you actually put them with the liquid. So these are going to be stunning. This is going to be like a really nice dark red. This is going to be like a burnt orange, probably like a brown burnt orange, which is super cute. I really needed a color like this for fall, so I'm so excited. These look really good and the packaging is super cute. This is a pink one. This is called Baby Baby super pretty let me know if you guys want me to like swatch these in a video i'm so down to swatch these if you guys are interested in that let me know this one is from the browns collection it says why not yet that's the name of it and i don't know what this color is going to look like so i'm super excited to see them i'm probably going to swatch them after this video I might actually just include it to be honest so if you want to stay tuned for the end of the video i'll swatch all of these nail supply glamour colors if you guys want me to well then this one is going to be this one is a browns collection one called rose me this one on the website looked really pretty it's going to be like a really nice nudie i think like a pinky nude i'm not sure but yeah so like i said stay tuned until the end of this video and i'll swatch these at the very end just in case someone's interested in seeing the swatches this one's called purples collection and it's lilac i really needed a good lilac so hopefully this is a true lilac color next i have another one of these little boxes of acrylic powders So these ones are, this is also from the Browns collection. I think I ordered from the Browns collection because they're really nice nudes. They looked like really nice different nudes. And I wanted some darker nudes too, not just light nudes, just so I can cater to all skin tones. So this one is light brown, number three. Super pretty. It already looks really pretty just like this. So there's that one. This one's from the Greens collection. Green foam and pastel green. I needed a lot of green acrylic powders. I don't use them too much, but I want to start doing 3D flowers and I wanted some good greens for like leaves and stuff. So I got those. And the next one is from the Blues and some Blues collection. These are all different types of blues. This one is Blue J, Pastel Blue, and Baby Blue. So this is what they look like. I love how per collection they have like matching lids. That's so cute because you know right away which color it is just by seeing the lid. Or what kind of collection it's from, just by seeing the lid. So I love those. Those are super cute. I didn't know the packaging looked like that. Next, I have this. This is a little tiny, teeny um, liquid cup. Clear glass liquid cup. I don't know what this is. I didn't know I ordered this. I forgot about this. Oh, it's literally just a clear glass cup. So this one was $2.99. Oh yeah, it just says liquid on it. I'm assuming like a dapping dish type of little one. But I'm actually going to use this for acetone. Because I use a lot of acetone. So I might as well put some acetone in this. And it comes with a little lid and it just says liquid on it. Super cute. It's really tiny. So this was only $2.99. I'm going to put this back in the box. Next, I'm really excited about this one. This is a crystal heart powder dish. I just thought this was so freaking cute. And I'm going to use this for my clear, my meal secret clear powder. Because I usually use it straight out of that big jar. But I know that clear is a color that I need 
almost every single set that I do. So I'm going to be using this for my Mia Secret Clear. And it's so freaking cute. It's a little hard. And I think this was... Oh, this was only $3.99. That's like such a good deal for this little cute jar. So yeah, I'm going to put my Mia Secret Clear Powder in here. And it's so pretty. Like, I'm scared. I don't want to break it. But it's so pretty. It's really nice, thick glass. So cute. And this will look cute on your on your nail table, too. Or your little desk. Next thing I got is this tiny manicure table. Um, germicide, fungicide little jar. So you can put your barbicide in here. I have a big one for my bigger tools. But I wanted a tiny one for my... Um, drill bits so I'm glad I got this one too and this is a little jar this looks really weird So this looks like foggy or something like if it was already used which is really weird but yeah I'm not sure about that it's okay I'll just clean it or something and then yeah it's so weird I literally you guys saw that I literally just took it out of the box it was brand new so maybe it's just cold or something that's weird it's like foggy do you see that or maybe it's dusty yeah maybe it's just dusty I'm not sure I'm gonna open this up I think I know what this is already So I think these are my Mia Secret hand sanitizers. I don't know if I told you guys how much that tiny little barberside jar was. Did I tell you guys already? That little tiny jar was only $5.99. So these are my Mia Secret hand sanitizers. I'm not going to open this one just because... I don't know. I'm not going to use it right now. I'm going to use this one for now. But I ordered these little hand sanitizers for my clients so that I can sanitize their hands without having to touch, um, like, without having to have them, like, use the actual pump one. So I'm going to just spray this on their hands every time they come in. So I ordered two of these. They're only $5 per each one. So, I mean, I don't know if that's kind of expensive, but it's okay. I like that, the fact that it's, like, a little spray. So yeah, two of those. And they're pink, which is cute. So my next thing, which is the thing I'm most excited about, to be honest, from this whole entire haul, is these brushes that I ordered. So I'm so freaking excited because I finally ordered a 3D nail brush. I have a lot of stuff. If you guys saw my nail room tour, I have a lot of nail stuff. I have a lot of brushes and stuff, but I don't even have a 3D brush. So I'm just now getting into starting to do flowers and stuff like 3D flowers and 3D little butterflies. So I ordered this number two Glamour Kalinske nail brush. And I think this was pretty cheap. How much was this? Okay, so this was $10 actually. So this is $10. It's just a clear little brush and it's to do little 3D flowers. I'm so excited. Finally, I have one of these and I'm so excited to use it. After I'm done with this video, I think I'm going to film some 3d flowers or like film a practice with me using this little brush i'm gonna put it back into the little container just because it's cute that it comes in here so yeah i put it back in there and i'm gonna put it with my nail stuff next one i got which i'm super excited about this is so freaking cool it's a acrylic brush with water inside of it so this is so cute like i wish i would have ordered more of these because i'd rather have these than some other ones so these are only 15 dollars per one which is actually not that bad i think the brush i usually use from amazon is like 20 something so this one's only 15 dollars. so if you want a good acrylic brush i suggest you go to nail supply glamour and get yourself one so this is so cute do you guys see that it has like water inside this is one of the prettiest brushes i have ever seen in my life so of course i knew it had water in it when I saw it on the website and I see a lot of people using their brushes so I had to order two so I got two of them just so that I don't run out I have a lot of extra backup brushes because I like having a lot of brushes for acrylic just in case I forget to clean one or something which is bad don't do that but yeah so these are so stunning they're pink and they're super cute 
I'm so glad I got two of them because I already know I was going to want another one. And then next, I got another acrylic brush. Oh, and those brushes are actually size number... Oh, these are size number eight. And they're only... I think I explained... I think I said already. These are only $15. So then I got this one too. This one is another one. If you want one that's a little bit more affordable than that one, this one's also super, super pretty. It has a marble handle. Like, look how stunning this is. Even the detail, like, right here. I feel like having a really good brush makes a difference. And these brushes look like they're really nice quality already. And they're already pre-pinched as well, which I really like. So this one is a also a number 8. And this one was only $11.99. So that one's $15 exactly. This one's $11.99. So $12 exactly. And it's so freaking pretty. It's marble. So cute. And yeah, I'm so glad I ended up getting brushes from there. I feel like that might be my new go-to place to order brushes now. I think I'm going to stop ordering from Amazon because sometimes Amazon is hit or miss. There's only one type of brush I like from Amazon and that's the Pana brush. I'll show you guys just in case you guys want to order it too. So this is the Pana Kalinske number 8. And I think this one's only like 20 bucks on Amazon. But yeah, these are both size number 8. And this one's prettier and it's cheaper. So I suggest you go with this one. But you know, if you want to try this one out too, Amazon, you'll get like Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you'll get it in like two days. So yeah, love this brush too. And that's it for my nail supply haul. I hope you guys really like this video. And now I think I'm going to go ahead and swatch these colors. I really, really want to swatch them. I'm super excited to. And I want to see what the colors look like. I like swatching them just so I know what kind of colors I already have. In case the client shows me a picture, I'll automatically know. I'll automatically know what color I have or if I have a color that's similar to it. So let's go ahead and swatch these and I'm going to grab some white paper towels. Or actually I think I want to swatch on here. So if you watch my other video I swatched on like a random little paper but I want to swatch on like a really plain white surface. You could really see what the color looks like. So we'll go ahead and swatch on here. And I'm going to be taking my nail liquid. Right now, my favorite nail liquid is the JC Beauty Concepts liquid. This one's really, really good. And the odor is not bad, of course. MMA free. So the first one we're going to swatch is going to be this blue. So this is Nail Supply Glamour Pastel Blue number 15 from the Blues Collection. And this was $7.99. I'll just remind you guys the prices just in case you're curious again. Or just in case you forgot. So... I'm hoping that these don't marble. I heard good things about them, so I'm going to shake it. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. This is like a periwinkle, almost like a periwinkle blue. <gasps> it is a periwinkle blue. No marbling. Love it. I already love it. I'm going to show you guys the color next to the name so pretty so stunning i already love it i'm already happy so there's that one next one we're gonna do another blue this one is going to be baby blue number 18 from the blues collection as well this looks like a really much lighter blue Oh, this is like a super, super light blue. So it's the lighter version of the one next to it. I am noticing a little bit of marbling with this one, to be honest. Just a little bit. But nothing too bad. Okay, yeah, this one actually does have a lot of marbling in it. I've noticed that lighter colors that include white marble a lot. So if you're able to work with it, I always make them work. But this is baby blue from the blues collection. I'm just going to put it next to it. So there's that one. 
Next one we're going to do green foam. It's really, really pretty. I did notice a tiny bit of marbling with this one as well. Like a, it has like a yellow tint of marbling in it. But again, nothing too crazy. So this is this color. Okay, next. is again lilac number 13 from nail supply glamour and it's more of a lavender to be honest than a lilac i feel like lilacs are more pink right so this one's a lavender type of color so pretty super super pretty next we'll swatch one of the browns so this one's brown collection rose me number six i hope this is a really pretty nude Ooh, this is super pretty so this is like a really nice taupey taupey like khaki type of nude this is really pretty so that's this one super pretty it's really smooth it looks really nice so this is rose me number six nail supply glamour and not yet number two I hope this one goes on really nice. I really wanted this one for fall. So this is a really nice burnt orange type of color. I'm sorry if you guys see little specks of stuff. I dropped that sticker inside my monomer. So yeah, this is a really nice burnt orange. Burnt orangish red, I would say. No marbling for the, with this one, which I love. So this one's called... Uh, uh, I think this blue looked really unique on the website. We'll see what it looks like. Yeah, this is like a nice denim blue. I don't have a blue like this. I don't think at all. So this is really pretty. And this one is... Blue J. It's a really nice dark denim blue. This, is be this would be super pretty if you did this matte. Or if you did this color with like some gold foil. It would really stand out. Super pretty, love that one. Next one, we're going to do this green. This is from the Greens Collection, Pastel Green number 18. I hope it swatches as pretty as it looks. Ooh, that looks like a really nice, like, I don't know why this reminded me. Have you guys ever seen like those lime, those like lime popsicles? That's what this reminded me of. I don't have a green like this, so this one's super, super pretty. And I'm so excited to use this for some 3D flowers. So this one is called Pastel Green number 18. Hope you guys can see it. Okay, next we're going to be doing the Red Collection Marlowe number 2. Let me shake it. This is a perfect burnt orange color. I'm gonna put it down here so it's kind of close to the other one. This is like a super, super dark burnt orange. I really love this one. This color for fall is going to be super, super pretty. Oh, I could see why it's like a red. So it does have marbling if you add more than one bead, which kind of sucks because the color's so pretty. Maybe if I shake it really good. But that's what the color looks like. I don't know if you can see the marbling. It's just really a little bit of, it's like a tiny bit of marbling. So this one is called Marlowe number two. Next 
Next, I'm going to be swatching lipstick number 20. This is a really nice, unique red. This one is called lipstick number 20. It's a really nice dark blood red. So I'm going to swatch light brown number three. This looks so pretty. I hope this is a nice nude. I'm going to swatch it down here. So this looks actually pretty similar to that one up there. But this one's more orangey, I guess that you would say. Yeah, this is more orangey. Really nice nude. This one's more gray. So here's this one. Personally, I like this one more. Next, I'm going to swatch from the Pinks collection. So this is a really nice pink. This is a pink called Baby Baby, number four from Pink's collection. A one called Kinda Olive. Okay, so this is a really nice olive green. Again, this is called Kind of Olive. This is one of the most beautiful colors I probably own. This one's called Apricot, number 68. It's so, so pretty. Nice, number 92. This color is super, super nice. <laughs> and it's called nice so this is that one i'm already in love with this color and that's this one That concludes my whole entire um, swatch. My all my swatches for all the colors that I got. So I hope you guys really like this, and I'm gonna just run them over with some monomers. So you guys can see what they look like shiny all together. The 
this is what they look like all of these colors are super super pretty and i didn't have any colors like this so i'm glad to add these to my collection and i hope you guys like this video let me know what else you guys want to see and let me know if you would like any links to anything or if you guys would like if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know and i hope you guys have a great day bye